What would happen if I forced you to play every single hand dealt at the poker table? Today, I'm playing an entire session without folding. Can I win. My challenge starts at Westgate Casino off the strip of Las Vegas. I came here in search of the softest poker game in the city. No one was cheering me on. Does anyone think we stand a chance of winning? We're about to find out. The only game running here is 1-2 when I sit down with $200 in my stack. Facing a huge $10 raise, my first hand of the night is 6-5 offsuit. Remember, we cannot fold any hand preflop, so we call, as do a couple other old farts. This game is very, very slow. Just look at the stack sizes of these players. The flop comes king, jack, four, and I might be in for a long day. My second hand dealt is 6-4 offsuit. An older lady raises to 12, nothing to do but call since our fold button is broken, and three other people call as well. Heading to a flop of 8-7-2. She bets 25, we call with a super disguised straight draw, and other two players fold. I'm like 99% sure she has an overpair now. The turn comes the five of hearts. I feel like I'm playing slots and I just hit the jackpot. She bets $100. Ma'am, I'm all in. She snap calls and the river is a five. We both show and we beat pocket kings. She's pissed and to be fair, I would be too. We doubled up on our little second hand. Maybe this challenge is gonna go better than I thought it would. Hand three, we have king seven offsuit. Above average for sure. We raise, check it down, and lose. But hand number four, we get a pair. I raise pocket fives to $10 and get re-raised to 32. I call and the flop comes king high, no five. He bets 75 and we are out of there. He has king jack suited. Hand number five, we have pocket jacks. There's a less than 1% chance I get pairs back to back and it happens on my fourth and fifth hand. There's a raise to $12. We make it 57 and take it down. Hand six is a forgettable one but hand seven says queen. We three bet to 20 and take it down with a small bet on jack, jack, nine. I'm not gonna bore you with all the details of every single hand. And hand number 12 looks like more of nothing with eight, four offsuit, but I flop trips. And I only make about $6. For the next few hands, I get a whole lot of trash. I call $2 and have to fold because 9-2 misses the flop quite often, actually. It didn't take long after missing a number of flops to drop down to $300. Poker is gambling, and what I'm doing is worse than splitting 10s in blackjack. I have Jack-7 offsuit on the button. A player by the name of Big Fish limps in the hijack, which he's done all night. I don't even think he's looking at his cards, honestly. I play this one passively and call as well. The blinds check. Flop comes seven, seven, nine, two hearts. Big blind leads for $5. Big fish calls and I raise to 22. Big blind is the only caller and the turn comes to queen of hearts. He snap jams $55. Pretty gross spot. He's been short stacking all night. So I know he really cares about that $55, but it would be a disaster if I made a hero fold and he showed worse three of a kind. So I make the call. The river comes the two of clubs. He shows six, 10 of hearts. And to make things worse, he stands up, puts all of his chips in his hand, then dips immediately. Which is fine, because I knew what I signed up for when I came here. Some might call this ego, but I just really enjoy betting on myself. I believe in myself, so I'm adding another layer to this challenge. This is my friend Rick. I brought him to this C-tier casino and bought him into the 1-2 game. He's allowed to fold whenever he wants, and if he makes more money than me, or if he makes less than I lose, which is a lot more likely, then he gets to keep it. Challenge from nowhere, from the skies. Bruh. So far, we're up $100 on him, and we'll check in on him again at the end of the video. I came back to some pretty solid starting hands, but it's hard to win big pots in this game. I had to ask the floor about the promotion going on to see why people were paying more attention to their paper than the game. So I signed up for a free membership, and they explained to me that if you hit all the hands on the paper, you win an extra $100. Our new goal is to fill out that white sheet. Let's try to win that extra hundred dollars for playing every single hand. Let's see if our bad play can be rewarded. It doesn't take long to cross off three of a kind off our list. At least we have something else to distract us from these $6 wins. Then I raise king six offsuit on the button, get a call, hit a full house on six, six, 10, 10, and I don't get to check off my paper since you have to use both cards in your hand to win the promotion. Back to more trash. I'm fighting demons, which is a good transition to see how Rick is doing. He's down to his last $85 and I come back right when he's all in. If he busts, then I win the challenge. He's got ace king and here comes the flop. Dealer hit my mans. On the river? Nope. 
Looks like a pro is gonna win this challenge. The other player turns over pocket sixes. He got counterfeit, so Rick's ace high wins the hand. And he's back up to two hundred dollars. Wow! <laughs> Let's go. Nice hand, man. Oh god. Oh, We're down to our last one hundred and thirty-five dollars, losing small pot after small pot, and look down at pocket jacks. I raised to ten dollars. Get three bet to twenty. When you're playing one, two, and you haven't gotten re-raised for two hours, even though you're playing every single hand dealt, red flags are raised. I just call. The flop comes ace five, two. I check and he checks. Turns a four, and now he starts betting for $15. People love slow playing top set. He still could have it. We make the call. The river is another four. He bets $25. This challenge is all about playing the player, not the hand. At these stakes, it's quite easy to put them on a hand. I fold, and he shows pocket aces. Well, we lost the minimum, but man, that is so unlucky. Playing every single hand and running jacks into aces. The next interesting hand, we have pocket eights in the small blind. I raise a 15 in the big blind calls. The flop comes 6-5-2 with two hearts. It's our same old Asian friend who beat us with pocket aces. I bet 20 and he re-raises to 40. I started with $100, so my first instinct to just to rip it in. But every single time he's raised, he's had it. It takes every disciplined fiber in my body to just make the fold. And he tells me he had 6-5. Ah, uh, yeah. Getting cooler, it hurts even more when you're just punting money in the other hands. We're down to only $75. I do add on for another 100, and Rick now is up $100. So we need to make a $200 swing fast to catch up to him. It's not easy with the hands that I'm playing. Even when I get a good hand, I just don't get paid. The only winner in this entire table is the casino raking in every pot. Before I applied for the paper, I had hit two flushes and one full house. Now I can barely hit a pair. It's time to make a stand. I look down at 7-2 offsuit. I am tired of just calling. I'm in the big blind with no hope, and there's a raise to $10. I put my foot on the gas pedal. I raised to 50. I just want to feel something, please. Yeah. And then they'll have oh, legs taken in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> You're good, man. I'm gonna try something. Okay, so this, Wait, so this thing. It's the small yeah. wins that count. This is also the same guy who's been pulling a pump it? fake throughout the entire session before making you know some of the most trivial oh, folds ever. That was a pump fake. Okay, that don't happen a lot. I play a few more hands, but I am absolutely miserable, to be honest. It's about time to call the session when I go for a huge bluff. I have queen deuce offsuit on jack four three two hearts. I check raise to $50 and our friend to the left calls. The turn comes the nine of hearts. Yikes. I shut down, putting him on a flush draw and he jams all in. I fold and he has seven two of hearts. I lose to the hand that I just played with. I am so done. I walk over to Rick and he's in a massive hand on the river. He announced the last hand, so I assume he's making a move here. If he punts his stack, we actually win the challenge, but he has a full house. Anything extra he puts in the middle is coming back to Rick and getting doubled by me. He actually gets both players to stick in the call. Nice left hand, man. You <laughs> I just want to see how bad I beat you by. <laughs> <laughs> the, the big reveal for this video is I had to play every single hand dealt. I don't know if you noticed, I never folded one time, single oh, time. Man. I felt you like, you do the same challenge. I almost. Well, your V-pip was probably like, <laughs> it's through the roof. 95. It's through the roof. Played 85 hands just about, and our total loss was $180. <laughs> buy-in for playing every single hand and now we gotta go pay Rick because he is the big winner. <laughs> oh no. Wanna do it over? Oh no, that was perfect. He got that trust. That was great. He was on top of it. I was hiding my camera the entire time and it turns out they didn't give a shit. Wanna do it over? I certainly don't want to do this challenge over, but I enjoyed seeing Rick leave a very happy man. He profited four dollars in the session plus my two hundred dollars I gave him for the buy-in for a total win of $600. That was free money. This is my brother. Leave a like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video.